Anderson. I'm Sam Wright. An unprecedented situation in the state of South Dakota last night. Services to 911 completely cut off. An outage that spanned the entire state with Nebraska and Nevada also experiencing the same thing. An emergency alert was sent out to area cell phones, notifying them to call or text Metro Communications in case of an emergency. The outage lasting just over two hours and full service not restored until after 11 p.m. Just this afternoon, we've learned the cause of the outage that affected South Dakota, Nebraska, and Nevada. It all stems from a construction site in Kansas City, Missouri, and caused outages for over two hours. Our Cooper Seamer has been following the updates, and he has our top story here at 6. Cooper. Yeah, Andrea and Sam, workers installing a light pole in Kansas City accidentally hit a fiber line and knocked out 911 services to South Dakota, Nebraska, and Nevada. Communications company that provides 911 services to those three states confirmed the cut as first responders here say they navigated the challenge and still kept response times quick. To our knowledge, we have never experienced an outage of this magnitude or duration. Wednesday's 911 service outage might have been one of the biggest challenges that Metro Communications and first responders in Sioux Falls have had to face in a long time, according to Fire Rescue Assistant Chief Mike Gramlich. We're fortunate to have a 24 year span of our team currently, so that's a long time to not have experienced something like this. Lumen Technologies, a 911 service vendor for South Dakota, Nebraska, and Nevada, confirmed it was a cut to a fiber line around 8 Wednesday night that caused the outage. Global Issues Director Mark Molson says services were out for about two and a half hours as crews worked to repair the cut. Back in Sioux Falls, Gramlich says Metro Communications shifted to taking calls on non emergency lines and by utilizing 911 by text. Metro Communications staff's expertise and ability to shift calls to our admin line and the availability of 911 texting provided the same dispatch services our first responders receive on any other day. Metro Communications saw an average number of calls for a Wednesday night and response times were not affected. City leaders say last night, while challenging, was a successful use of contingency plans they have in case of emergencies like these. I didn't even have to weigh in a lot because our team was just like an orchestra chipping in with this is what we're going to do with comms, here's what we're going to do here, and it was so fun to see those guys in action. Why we hope uh, these plans are, are never realized, uh, having these plans in place makes successful responses to incidents like yesterday possible. Now the Federal Communications Commission says it started to investigate the outages in South Dakota and other states, saying that it's vital that people be able to call 911 whenever they need to. Coming up later on Dakota News Now, our Parker Brown looks at more on the infrastructure behind 911 services. Andrea and Sam. Cooper Senior Forces this evening. Cooper.